Hey guys, day four of Exxon's. Um, this is the last day and I wanted to film a little, just short footage for YouTube as well. Hope you're following me on Instagram. Um, unfortunately, I have food poisoning. <laughs> so, you know, not feeling that great, but I'm here, right? So anyway, yes. I'll show Check you. Check out our VR Americans on Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's very <laughs> So, um, I'll show you guys a couple things. Um, no, let me see. We're going to go try the new green right okay. now. It's dedicated to Monica, which is Luca Gritti's wife, for the 15th anniversary of the Gritti brand. This is Peony with lychee, apricot, and a bed of vanilla mask. So it's a super romantic floral, very springy. Oh, I get the lychee in there. Yes. Or I say, I say lychee. Yeah, lychee, lychee. So this is a limited edition, yes. only 6,000. And how can we get it? For now, we can sell it. It's gonna be yeah. on the market from July or August. July is gonna yes. launch. This is a beautiful <laughs> sweet lychee. Yeah, we're gonna try. Thank you so much. Thank you. There's also that one. There's another one. This is called Gritty Prima. It's from the Gritty Prima. Yeah. Uh, this is our other novelty that we're presenting in Exxons. The name is Visterica. It's tuberose, plum, benzoin, lots of incense, white honey, and um, it's just a oh, It's just a very deep floral with oozy nuances, and it has the typical Gritty Prima signature. This one's a little warm. Can I see the bottle? Love the bottle. I always love the reused bottles. So pretty, and I love the color. Very nice. Yeah, I just wanted to get a video of Christian Provenzano because he's just amazing. And uh, yeah, yeah, I love it. And yeah, we needed a video because we didn't get a good picture, right? That's right. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, Monica, there's a lot of lychee, it's fresh, this one's actually pretty good, you know, um, and it will be out on the market, when did you say this one will be out? July or August. In July or August, okay, so you guys, Monica, a lot of lychee, juicy, fresh, rose, peony, right? So yeah, I actually really like this one, great for the spring, summer. Um, and like you said, it was and uh, made after his wife, named after his wife. So. To say to everybody, she's beautiful, just as beautiful as she is online. I love you and, so much, uh, honestly. She's amazing. She just okay. gifted me the most amazing fragrance that she's wearing right now. What is it called again? Uh, Dark Rose, Octavia Morgan. really incredible. So Octavia, she has Dark Rose. I have it. Okay. I have it. Alright, so wonderful meeting you, Sammy. Mom. Alright, there's a sneak brand here. This looks like a cherry scented fragrance, jasmine. Uh, it's really pretty. Light, fresh, airy, very lush, uh, watery, airy, cherry fragrance. But yeah. It's called Tetra Frenzy Niche Friends. But anyway, you'll be seeing this soon, probably in stores or online. sweeter a little more gourmand from the hazelnut and the pear it's very light airy fresh a little whimsical um but i'm not sure and i wanted to find buy it from joe boy but i did not and i'm actually happy 
Um, the bottles are beautiful. I think I'd rather get Imperial Peacock or uh, the other one. But anyway, y'all, this is how the setup is in Exxon. There are lots and lots of like three. There are, I think there's 300 or more than 300 uh, brands here. And yeah, it's a lot. So May's gonna talk about these Hi. for a moment. I just, I just discovered this yesterday. And look how pretty that is. And uh, see, it's like this. You open it and there is a 50 ml. And there is a 50 ml with it. My favorite is this one. This is my favorite. That's beautiful. It smells like a rose. What's the name of that one? Oh, it's on the bell. Kali uh, Subtle. Oh. Okay, Kali Subtle. All right. Yes. So this is a favorite of mine. This is more rosy. Oh, that one's pretty too. That one actually gives Delina vibes. Yes, very sort rosy. Of. Yes. And that's Yama Rouge. And then. Derek has really nice as well. It's very warm, amory, slightly sweet floral. Uh, but I think I like Monica more. Yeah, but this bottle's gorgeous. She's amazing. I hope I hope you like the, our fragrance. Uh, I love it. Our creation, I know it's difficult, but I hope you like it. But well, you make it easy. Yeah, yeah. So, I try my best. Yeah, yeah. You give us so much. You Thank make you. it easy. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All the <laughs> guys, creator, founder, Suspiro. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. All, All right. All right. Bye-bye. Guys, I'm about to sneak up on Abby. I did not know she was going to be here. We're here with Gabby <laughs> and May, of Yay. course, my lovely May. And um, Gabby is enjoying the event. And, absolutely. Uh, you were here last oh, year. Right? I was here last year. I yeah. was here yesterday. It's absolutely amazing. For everyone that can come to Milan, you have to come. You must come in here because you're going to smell everything that's new. And I'm telling you, that good stuff. And meet amazing people that you've been exactly. watching. Exactly. Exactly. 
Also by Cecile Zerokian, and this is Huggy, um, but this one is gorgeous. This one's definitely on my list. These will not be available until October, um, so yeah, the notes are beautiful. I definitely want this bottle here, and this is, I think it's called Huggy Naive, and the bottle's the same. Gorgeous, like she said, this is a part of the feminine collection, and Sister Oud. I need in my collection as well. Sister Oud uh, kind of takes after like Sisterhood, also by Cecile Zerokian. Um, the note of pink pepper, black currant, cardamom. The oud in here, look at the notes you guys. The oud in here is very non-offensive and the bottles are absolutely stunning. But this one's an easy oud that I think, you know, everybody would love. But these are all leaning and the feminine. Put 
Jell's new release is very um, delicious. If you follow me on Instagram, I did like a short review of it. Um, Kajal's new release is called it smells like a fruity, juicy passion fruity scent. This is it. It's a little bit of an animalic. I really like it in the dry down. It's slightly animalic, fruity, juicy, punchy. It's good. So if you like fragrances like Narcotica um, Oasis by Narcotica or Narco Oasis by Narcotica, then I think you will love this one. Uh, but I think it'll be out soon. Uh, but it's their latest release. Uh, and it's pretty good. Yeah, definitely on my list. Sugar Daddy, of course, everyone loves. You know, I really haven't gotten into this brand, but let's check out. What's your hi? What's your latest release? Uh, this one. Angel dust. Angel dust. Ah, this is good. Like uh, our best seller was Angel Dust, but the Eau de Parfum. So now we made a stronger version, oh, it, like okay. an extract. So it was released like last week. So uh, can you spray that on the? Um, oh, it was released last week, so it's already out. I love their like setup. It's like you're inside of a swimming pool. Yeah. Testers? Okay, you can spray it on we, my finger. We have testers, testers, but we don't have uh, like. Uh, oh, oh, you can spray it on my finger. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. I like this. Yes. Yeah. Do you like it? I give Fresh. you a tester. Airy. It's woody. It's yeah. I like it. there. We have so many, but this is the most famous one. Sugar Daddy there. The bottles of that beer, you know, style. But yeah, that's the latest one. Angel Dust, you guys. So, I'm really liking it. So if you like a very sandalwood forward, maybe woody, spicy, fresh. Yeah, I'm really liking Angel Dust. Yeah, it's really good. Very fresh, ambery, sandalwood. A little warm, spicy. It smells like there may be some pink pepper inside, but yeah, this one's a winner. Yeah, put your nose on it. is they're, they're all actually very beautiful and you can smell them uh, with these uh, what do you call them cones right here yeah but they're all so beautiful there is one that I I can't say that I didn't like even the green the pineapple they're all pretty basic the names represent what is in the bottle so you have your pineapple here and then the peach is good. It's giving you a little bit of a oozy peach, a similar to Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, but I don't like Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, but I really like this one. Oozy, very good. And then this maroon one, let me smell this one. I don't remember smelling maroon, but let's see what it smells like. Hmm, warm, ambery iris. It smells like iris. Gray, let's see what gray smells like. Gray is good. Gray is giving a little bit of like leather. I don't, I'm not sure what's in it, but the mango is amazing. 
this pink one I absolutely love. Blackberry smells like a rich dark dark cherry, and the cherry, of course, smells like dark cherry. And this beige one is just that clean girl aesthetics. Uh, but anyway, I love all of these. Max Phillips, they're here at Tint Explorer, so let's go explore some more. Collection in our private collection. Talking about this collection, we try emphasizing, as you know, uh, color holds emotion. So we try uh, emphasizing the scent within the color. For example, Mansi. It's a very uplifting. Definitely, like I said, need this in my collection. It is amazing. And then uh, the Charlotte uh, has a little. It's amazing. And then it's white. And yes. These fragrances literally almost made me cuss. They are all so freaking good. Oh, this one's amazing. I want them all. Like, literally want them all. Like, this one is amazing as well. Based off the South of Fifth in Miami. You guys, I literally want every single one of these. Let me smell the last one. Guys, this is Clifton and... Um, Cape Town, South Africa, which is very famous for peaches in summer and figs. So the base of that is peaches, figs, cedarwood, sandalwood. It's a very fruity, woody fragrance. And who's the perfumer for this, this one? Is, uh, this one uh, is Julien Raskinet. Oh, okay. And the other one that you love is Julien Raskinet. Julien Raskinet. So he made both of those. Wow. This is gorgeous, too. Yeah, I, I, I literally want... I haven't smelled the other ones, but let me... Let's go ahead. The new collection. Um, this one was based off the one in the Maldives, and this one I think may be my favorite. But when is it the new collection release? It's uh, it will come out at the end of May. The end of May. Yeah. Okay, so. so it's, uh, sorry, if I just. No, no. So it's a private island owned by Sheikh Khalifa, uh, but it's it's got a property by the Louboutin Group mm -hmm. called the Blanc, and uh, it's inspired around that. I love this. Yeah. Yeah, this one's for me, for sure. This is, it's very lush, creamy, smooth, uh, fruity, a little fruity, but very floral. It smells like almost, um, well, you can't tell us the notes, huh? Okay. Is that the frangipani? Yeah, I can. Flower? So it's got uh, marina quartz, bergamot, orange flower, violet, vetiver, cassis, amber, seed and wood. Yeah, this is amazing. Love this. South Africa is amazing and I'm so ready to have these fragrances in my collection. I'm going to do a little review uh, but I'm super excited because they all smell freaking amazing. They all smell wonderful and yes. people smell them as well. So I'm not just hyping it up. Yep. But um, yep. anyway you guys, I want them all in my collection and you need to get your nose on these fragrances when they're released in June or July, whenever. But I'll keep you guys posted because like when I tell you stunning, stunning summer scent. Um, spring is summer since.
and Sue Park and the Bourbon. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me the inspiration behind the house? This is something I'm a perfumer. I've just been in the industry for a long time. Anyway, you guys, I'm here with George and I have spotted him from a mile away in a hotel. Um, super excited to finally come back. guys we are going to do our version of we're americans because we are really acting american over here in milan so we're americans of course we travel to milan italy with our own toilet seats thank you very much may <laughs> they actually brought toilet seats to italy okay uh this is gonna work for us yes and they're in our purses we're trying to figure out the AC in this place. It is very humid. We asked the housekeeper to come over and show us how to fix it. And she realized it was hot as well. But we're so American, we requested AC. Literally, the housekeeper went over to the windows and opened them right up. And we and were nice and at cool. Us like we are crazy. She looked at us like, duh. <laughs> you guys, Americans, okay? Yes, and we're Americans. Of course, we travel with six suitcases for four days. <laughs> And we travel with six jackets for four days. We're totally American. And May's definitely American. She actually brings her own towels when she travels. So American. Yes, we're definitely Americans. Of course, we buy duty free before we get out the airport on our trip. <laughs> we are definitely Americans. Okay, bye y'all. And yes, we're Americans and perfume lovers. Of course, we bring 10 perfumes to a fragrance event, a perfume event. Exxon, day number two, here we go. Bye, y'all. This is another amazing fragrance brand. It's a new fragrance brand, so he only has like two bottles of each so far. Um, so we just launched here at Exxon, but it's gorgeous. Um, they're very travel inspired. And this one here, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, and La Sabari, La Sarabia are good. Those are, that's my, those are my favorite two right there. Zephalu and then Havana is gorgeous as well. But I also love uh, Flow 97, which is the Paris uh, one, the one right in the middle. But this one, oh, it's so delicious, you guys. So I want that not delicious, but gorgeous and fresh. So yeah, a new brand to look out for. Okay, so Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm a little stuffy, but I could not leave Milan without visiting the Zerja Boutique. I got my nose on some newness, some things that are not even released, some that are going to be released at the end of the year. I picked up one or two L Anniversary Smells Amazing, Lychee, and I get a lot of watermelon. I got my nose on the prototype in that very shimmery, uh, pearlescent bottle. Of course, when you're in Milan, you have to visit the Zor Parfum Boutique that's right around the corner from the Zerja Boutique eat some gelato, visit the Duomo, just have the most amazing time. I hope to see you all at Sans 2025. And y'all, bye. Okay, show time. Yeah, but uh, not very slowly. Hi, my friend is Osman. Hello. <laughs> Yes.
It's really hot. Be careful. She's very professional. Oh, I need a job, huh? Hey, Salah, send the camera here. Let's check it out. I want to see the eye. This was, work, this was worth me missing my flight. <laughs>